Hi, it's Flatai and Jacinda for Compare Foods TV. We are at our Sharon Amity location in front of this beautiful mural. And Jacinda, we have a very <laughs> special guest with us today. Yes, we are here with our local artist, friend, um, curator, uh, I would also say community partner because this was really a com community event here. Irisol Gonzalez, thank you so much for being here today. And we got lots of questions about this mural. Let's do it. Tell us how it started. It started uh, with community meetings and um, a fellowship that sponsored the, the whole thing. Yeah. Now, I know you're a local artist. You usually work solo a lot of times, but this was a labor of love. The whole community was able to come out and be a part of it, right? Yes. So we had a hundred, more than 100 people show up over one weekend to come help paint it. And then we had more than 50 people show up to the meetings to actually come up with the theme and the idea of it. Wow. Yeah, and that's so cool because it's like, you know, you could easily come out here and fill up this wall, but you said, what do you want to see and what matters to you? So can you explain a little bit of the mural from like one side to, to the next? Because I see pictures, I see pinatas, <laughs> I see a lot of things like, tell us the story behind it. So the idea was to talk about where we come from, uh, who we are, our heritage. And so we start looking at pictures on the left side. And as you move to the right, the subjects in the frame start to come out of the pictures because it's not just... Uh, images or memories of where we come from, but it is who we are. Wow, I feel the heritage, I feel the love, I just feel uh, all the energy around this so people can actually come out and they can take pictures in front of it, right? Absolutely, so you can, anywhere, um, most people like to do the butterfly or they like to do the frame uh, where the poem is written. Yeah, yeah. Now, I see that there's a poem here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So the poem was written by Margarita Dagers Kokovic, a local poet, uh, for the mural itself. It talks about the beauty of being Latin American, and it was written by King Carla, a local artist, and um, yes. We was able to honor a special community member also in this mural, right? Absolutely. We have Don Adrian. Uh, somebody from the community reached out to talk about um, his passing and a tragic event and how meaningful he was to the community. So we were able to, compare was gracious to let us uh, put him and honor him in the mural and there's his portrait. Now, how in the world did you do something like this? Do you have other, is there other murals in Charlotte that you've done? Like, have you been doing this your whole life? Like, this is just... Fantastic! <laughs> yeah, so I do murals around Charlotte. I have a few, um, one in Tivola, Elizabeth, some man. I just finished one in Belmont, uh, but I also, I am a full-time artist and that's what I do. Good. So what is the next big project you're working on? So I'm working on the next community mural and then I'm working on creating a creative space for uh, Latinx creatives here in Charlotte. Hopefully they'll come around the winter um, time. I love it. I love it. All right, Fly Thai, favorite place here? here All right, wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you, what's your favorite part of the mural? I really love the butterfly. The butterfly? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture in front of it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. For people that want to get in touch with you, how can they do it? When you, when you stop by, make sure you tag our artist at Irisol Gonzalez Art. All right. Also, Compare Food CLT. Come take pictures. Come, yeah, yeah, you gotta do it the right way. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Tag us. Stop by 3600 North Sharon Emity and taking this beautiful, gorgeous mural. Thank you so much, Aerosol. Are you flying? 